everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm presenting you a review for the VCA 10 Motif Vintage Alhambra Necklace that I'm wearing right now. We'll talk about wear and tear, pros and cons, durability, comfort level, and obviously pricing. So if you're curious to see what my opinions are, then please keep on watching. So first off, let's start with pricing. This is a necklace that retails for $8,900 plus tax. So quite expensive, obviously. I have mine in white gold and mother of pearl. I love, love, love this combination. This is a necklace that I bought about nine months ago. So if you're curious to see the unboxing of this particular necklace and kind of hear my first impressions of it, then I will go ahead and leave the link to the video in the little information link over here for you to see it. So I was so, so, so over the moon for this necklace. It's a necklace that I waited for for a long time. I saved for a long time for it and I was so, so glad that I got it. I think that you can definitely see the enthusiasm in that unboxing video. So I'm still very, very over the moon with this particular necklace. Um, let's start maybe with the pros um, and then end with the cons. I think there's definitely a lot more pros than cons, so let's start with that. Um, the first pro really is it is the perfect length. So unlike other um, things from VCA, maybe bracelets for example, um, this one was really perfect. I didn't have to get it resized. So now VCA does have a complimentary service where they can remove links um, from your items, whether it be like a necklace or a bracelet. Um, if you feel like it is too long or not the perfect fit for you, this to me was the perfect fit. Um, anything shorter would be kind of like choking me. <laughs> uh, anything longer would be like a weird in-between. Um, this is actually something that also comes in 20 motifs and then it's like very long. So I felt like the 10 motif was enough for me. Um, and that the fit was perfect without removing any links, so I didn't have to go through that process. That's the first thing that I think this necklace has going for itself. Um, it is practical right away. Um, this is a necklace that I feel like has a wow factor. Um, it's very, very extra. It's very different from any other necklaces um, that you've seen out there. I think obviously um, the vintage Alhambra charms are very you know, apparent um, for anybody who knows the brand, is into the brand, and they're very, very visible. Obviously there's 10 of them um, compared to the one single um, motif pendant. I would definitely prefer this one. Um, I have the one single motif pendant in yellow gold and onyx and I love it. But um, yeah, this is like the little extra, extra thing um, that I use for occasions, um, pretty much yes, for occasions only and videos. This is the necklace that I now wear um, on about every single video of mine. Um, it's really, really nice. I love the fact that it sends this like wow factor vibe, but at the same time, because it's white gold and mother of pearl, it's not too showy. Um, so mother of pearl is kind of like, like pearl color, like off-white. White gold is discreet. It's more discreet than yellow gold in my mind. So it's extra without being too much. Looks wise, I feel like this necklace is very, very girly. Um, the Alhambra pieces are kind of like classic, classy, but girly, like very floral, very feminine. Um, I love the fact that this necklace is something that can dress up, you know, a very plain outfit. For example, if you're wearing like, I don't know, like black jeans with like a black turtleneck, for example, like an all black, very discreet, not showy um, type of outfit and you have this necklace, this is going to bring so much attention to your neck. Um, it's really, really something that makes or breaks the outfit um, and here it's gonna make it, of course. So I love that. Um, it's unique. It's not like other jewelry. It's, it's very, 
yeah, different. Um, I love that for the necklace. It is very comfortable. So here's a little note. Um, I wasn't used to wearing a lot of necklaces. The necklaces that I did have previously were pendants. So they were like small, like very thin chains with like one little pendant. Um, I had like a pearl one, I had the VCA um, one motif pendant, um, so that type of stuff. So this is actually my first long necklace and when I first started to wear it, I felt like it was so heavy. I felt like it was weighing my neck down in a weird way. Um, and this is actually something that I completely got over after a couple of times of wearing it for the, my videos. Um, and now, quite frankly, like I don't even think that I'm wearing it. Like I could forget that I have this necklace on. It is extremely, extremely comfortable. So it takes some getting used to if you're only used to having pendants before, but now it's very, very comfortable. It's very easy to put on the necklace by yourself. This is an important criteria for me. I live by myself, so I can't have someone, um, you know, put on my necklaces every single time. So for me, having something that I could put on by myself without needing to spend like five minutes um, trying to, you know, get the clasp to open and stuff like that, like that's not my thing. I also didn't want to damage my nails or whatever. So I love that for this necklace. It's easy to put on, it's easy to take off, it's very, very comfortable. The last good thing to mention about this necklace before moving on to the cons is the versatility. So my essay actually um, told me that um, since I do have the matching bracelet, so obviously this is the reason why I got um, the necklace, I also have the earrings. So since I had the matching bracelet, I could use the bracelet at the back of the necklace to make the necklace look longer. Um, so that would be like uh, um, like 15 motifs uh, because there's five on the bracelet, so five plus 10 is 15. So it would almost look like the 20 motif one, but a little bit shorter. This is actually something that I have never tried on, but I will try to include mod shots um, and actually do it at the end of the video. This is something that I'm very curious about. I feel like it could be a total game changer. I love the fact that like, you know, um, you buy one piece and you can wear it in different ways and it can look different. Um, I'm a big fan of like investing uh, a lot of money in very, very few pieces. So it's definitely nice when these pieces can be interchangeable, when they can have a different look, because otherwise sometimes it feels like you're always wearing the same things. So that's definitely something that I like about this necklace as well. So I actually do not have a lot of cons. I love my necklace. I thought it was an amazing investment. Um, I will say obviously the price can be a little bit off-putting <laughs> to say the least. I mean, I spent like over $9,000 on a necklace. When I did it, I was thinking about it and I was like, oh my god, you're not gonna do this. That sounds crazy. That is so much money. Um, but then at the same time, like, you know, I have um, my Cartier Love bracelet with the four diamonds. I costed a lot more money than that. So why not? Um, the durability really is great. There is very little wear and tear. Obviously, I've only had it for nine months. So that's why I didn't mention it in the pros because I feel like I can't really speak about that um, yet because I've only had it for nine months. But at the same time, like I do my videos every week, so that means I wear it every week plus the occasions. So let's say the durability is, is one more good thing. Um, but yeah, so the price in terms of the bad things, the price is, is not appealing. Um, that would be the first thing. And then the second thing would be, that is a little bit of a problem, would be the fact that um, the necklace actually tends to move. So the um, motifs tend to move a little bit. So that means they're not gonna be resting against your skin um, all the time in the same position. So sometimes instead of being flat, like this one is, for example, it's going to be twilted or twisted kind of like this or like that and then it's not like laying flat nicely so that's one thing and then the next thing is again since the necklace does move sometimes the clasp and the closure system would be like in front like right here and that's obviously not like a good look so it's not a huge deal for me because I understand that that's the case with a lot of necklaces I have other necklaces like pendants um, that do the same thing. I have like the clasp and the closure system in the front all the time as soon as I move. Um, so that's something to think about. Not a huge deal for me, but definitely for the price, 
probably a little disappointing. So the last, last thing um, to mention would be the fact that the um, necklace is a little fragile, especially because I got mine in the Mother of Pearl. It's not something that you're going to wear under the shower. It's not something that you're going to uh, go to the pool with, sleep with, all that stuff. Um, obviously, it's not intended for that. And I think that the way that I use it, which is for videos and occasions, is not you know a huge problem um, and, and I would never um, shower with it work out with it sleep with it all that stuff but if you're looking for a necklace to do these things with then that's not gonna be a good choice other than that I would really really recommend this necklace I love it it's been great having it in my jewelry collection I feel like it's like you know the um, show of my jewelry collection it's like the one piece that I absolutely love So that's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was informational and beneficial for you in case you were looking at acquiring this particular necklace, definitely go for it, it's an amazing investment, it's so beautiful, comfortable, good durability, I mean there's so many good things about this necklace. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.